All right, so after spending the night outside, I figured that was enough for uh, enough punishment for one night for this poor little outlet strip. Oh yeah, and I cut the cord off just so nobody would pick this thing up while I was out there and try and use this. Oh hey, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Alrighty, so I took this thing apart, and there's the screws right there. And look at that. That just does not look great at all. Um, ignore this oily looking stuff. I think that's just water moisture from the inside. The fuse did not blow. Nothing else blew inside of there. Like I said, the breaker never triggered. So let's just kind of, uh, kind of funky. Um, what this is here. It's like melted melted plastic or something. I don't really know. I'll tell you the honest truth. But that's not confidence inspiring that the switch would give up the ghost and heat up that much. I mean you can see the the warpage on that uh, on the line because the line's kind of like bubbled right out. Let me get the light on. It's all pretty nasty looking stuff in there, and you can see that it got plenty hot because going right up to the breaker, that's uh, that's pretty nasty looking right in there. But the, the fuse, whatever that's for, that did not blow, which is not confidence inspiring. I would assume that that's supposed to give up the ghost before the house burns down. And I mean, it was a long way from the house burning down, but... That's that's a lot more melt and heat than I would have expected to have encountered with something that's got both a fuse and a breaker in it. You know, we shouldn't be distorting letters like this. Made in China, so I'm I'm assuming something in here is counterfeit. Probably that. So let me pull this out and take a look at the switch. All right, here. crispy looking there's some nasty looking wire right there doesn't look like anything here got hot so I didn't have any I didn't have one particular device that was cooking anything yeah, so you can see it I suppose It's fine there. Interesting. I mean that you can see it's probably got a little bit of heat on this board here, but nothing nothing anywhere near where I would have expected. The LED's still fine. The resistor's fine. It's generally not looking bad at all, which again, gotta keep gotta keep you in frame. Otherwise, that's not helping much. All right. Whoop. Jeez, just knocked you right off the table. It's trying to keep the tripod leg out of the uh, the image, which is actually turned out to be harder than I thought. Right. Now you're out, you little double. Alrighty. It's interesting how it's working now that it's cooled down a day later. I don't see any active seam lines where I can pull this apart gracefully. So uh, I'm gonna need to need the adult pair.
get back here. We're not done with you that quick. That definitely got hot. I mean, that, that plastic is just completely melted. So this is just the piece that pushes on the actual switch itself. All right, Let's see if I can get that out of there. I just want to look at the material in there. Might have to cut this open some more here, I guess. Oh, yeah, piece of had it. I, as you can see from these things. I've done a lot of ill-conceived, yeah. So they're not, they're not great at actual cutting anymore. I use those for brute strength and everything else. I use my smaller ones when I need things actually cut. Open up, little bugger. piece that I actually wanted flew away. Imagine that, but I can see it. So here it is. Hmm. Let me get this focused a little more for you. So that's, that's something. So the contact itself does not look as bad as I really thought it was going to. I mean, it's obviously got a little bit of scarring on it. But I mean, this is an all solid jet black, which is sort of what I expected at this point. I did not expect it just to be a little bit crappy. I expected it to be a lot of bit crappy. That end really doesn't look super bad either. I mean, if it if it arced at all, huh? I think this is supposed to be bent like that because it. I think that it's part of the rocking action that's in there. So I don't think this heat melted or anything like that. If anybody's familiar with these particular units, I guess you can tell me that for sure. But. So it must have been just, just enough of a, uh, the sticking together where it, and, and enough junk in the middle where it kind of arced and didn't really, uh, didn't make a proper connection, but then again, didn't like heat weld or anything either. So it just melted the housing. So I would say that this was still um, not as dangerous as I thought it was initially. I mean, obviously not great, but I, I don't think this was going to be a, a fire that would have sustained itself. And I guess it wasn't shorting out. It was just acting more like a resistor, so it was, uh, it was adding enough to the party where I would have still thought that it would have popped that breaker. What the... The breaker didn't go, and the breaker doesn't even look injured. The breaker's like a heavy, heavier type of material. It feels like almost like a, like a bakelite. All right, well, let's see here. Maybe I can get into this thing, too. All right, I'm going to see if I can uh, delicately open this little devil up. Yeah, that seems to have done it. It does have action, which it did not appear to have before, which I think is interesting. So let me give it another delicate shot. And 
That should have been able to heat up and bend, because it, it feels okay. You know, I'm going to say that it wasn't the breaker. That is just resistance that got to the... Uh... Ooh, nice. Now I can make a pen. Resistance that got into the uh, the, the switch and, and just caused the fire. I don't think it was... Uh... It wasn't shorting, so I don't like I said, I don't think I was in a terrible amount of danger. I think that it was probably going to either melt a wire and the wire would have en ended up fusing it eventually. But I'm really not sure why that little circuit didn't do something. Get out of there, fellas. It's not your time to shine anymore. Alright, so I get a capacitor on here. I don't know what this guy is. It, it, is that a diode? In a box? I mean, it looks like a relay box. But, it's not a relay box. It's got two, it's got two legs on it. So, get off there. that go? Oh yeah, yeah. You want to be a tough one? Holy crap! All right, finally that broke open. Okay, so before I can you know, completely myrtleate this thing, I'll show you what it says on here. So anybody who really knows what they're looking at will know what it is. And then I'm just gonna dig right into it. Wow! Yeah, she's solid inside of there. Because when the little cutters aren't cutting into it, there we go. Hmm. Well, we're almost there. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not an electronics tech, so I don't really know what I'm looking at here. Sort of a little, I hope it's not explosives. Just kidding. I know it's not explosives, kids. But I've never seen a diode that looks like this. And if it had like a reed switch inside of it, you know, then I would say, all right, some sort of, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Keep getting more and more plastic off it. But it was poured into the plastic, so whatever it is, and it does not, I don't know, it doesn't look like a capacitor. And I didn't see any capacitance symbols on it. Alright, where's the board? Well, it came off from there. This says it was a capacitor. So I guess it's a capacitor. There we go. Interesting. Alright, so these guys are disc capacitors. That I knew. Not that much. Oh, we've got our useless fuse. So I don't know, it looks like this whole stupid circuit's just for the LED. <laughs> I don't think this... I don't think this did much. I mean, some mild Zerg protection, but... Judging by the way that this fuse is still good, I would say the surge protection feature is a fail. Okay, anyways, that's it. Um, that's not great, so we'll just leave it at that. That's the end of my video. This has probably gone on for two hours now, so bye-bye.